The Wednesday is the themed series that is generously funded by our sponsor, Technoglass. Now, the theme we select annually, and it's something that resonates with our core values or preoccupation, something that is close to the heart of the school or points to issues that we would like to address. For instance, I can give you a preview of next year. Next year, we're going to be all focused on rising sea level and water is going to be very important. So the next year's theme is going to look at water. But this year, we are, the theme is Miami and the tropical world. So clearly, this is very close to home says something about our lo geographic location, our context here, but also our belonging to a, a global community in the tropical belt. But the, the theme, tro Miami and the tropical world, yes, points to a, something physical, a geographic location, but it, it's also, a, I would like to say, a conceptual category. So. The tropical, of course, indicates a climate, a particular climate, and by extension, an architecture that is tied to this climate, an architecture that has evolved in relation to uh, this climate, and that has a DNA very much uh, tied to that evolution and that climate. But in the case of tropical architecture, that DNA that, and the way it is, it is expressed is so clear that the tropical more generally stands for uh, uh, an architecture that is attuned to an environmental context, to issues of uh, sustainability, to ways in which the forces that shape architecture are imbricated with the logic of ecology. So, uh, also, the tropical, historically, has all, uh, all, and tropical architecture has historically been very close to local building traditions. But again, more generally, the tropical and tropical architecture uh, uh, stands for, in, in the cultural imaginary, it stands for uh, as a foil to a northern tradition to, uh, let's put it this way, uh, to, to the instrumental rationality that we associate with the North. So again, the, 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 the tropical and tropical architecture conceptually here is about the, 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 an investment in the intelligence sedimented in vernacular traditions, in, uh, in the possibility of reinventing the, the, the vernacular looking back at uh, traditional and vernacular materials in new way for, uh, uh, for new economies and new conditions of production. Also, it happens that in the tropical, tropical world is where we find many of today's emerging economies. So tropical architecture and the tropical is for us in this theme, in this lecture series, an opportunity to, to look at the the new opportunities and challenges uh, that have emerged in unprecedented conditions and that offer a fertile territory for architectural invention. So, everything I said, I could have read you as an intro to our speaker uh, tonight, Votrong uh, Ni. I don't know if I'm pronouncing the name correctly. Yeah. And, uh, when uh, we are delighted to have you here because really it's the, this is the exemplary uh, speaker we want for that series. So when I usually sit with the committee that uh, designs the, this public program, uh, we, we have, when we decide on a theme, we have one particular candidate in mind that helps us clarify our thoughts. It's the exemplary, it's the ideal candidate for that theme. And there, there he is. So we are really <laughs> delighted to have him here. We had to work very hard to get him here because of his super busy schedule. It worked out uh, eventually and we're very happy about it. Just uh, uh, briefly, I'd like to tell you a bit more about him. He 
actually studied at Tokyo University uh, grad and uh, st uh, immediately after graduation started his own practice in uh, 2006, is that correct? Yeah. Yes. And, and it uh, uh, took off very, very quickly. Uh, 2014 was really uh, a landmark year for that practice with so many awards, including two W AF awards for one firm in one year, that's really unprecedented. And I, I mean, I won't, I can go on and on telling you about all the, the awards. Uh, the, a year, the, every year they get the Arc Daily uh, uh, Awards, the uh, many buildings of the year in many publications, etc. Awards from Vietnam also, where uh, the, the practice is based. Uh, several times designated as practice or architect of the year. So without any delay, I'm going to leave Vo Trong Ni to his lecture today. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you to invite me here. Um, I was in uh, Boston. It was very cold. And, uh, <laughs> and come here is uh, more comfortable and happy for me. Then, uh, and uh, it's similar, almost similar climate with uh, Vietnam. Then it really, uh, m maybe it uh, some way somehow is helpful for your, uh, then why I am telling about safe hours. Today I go around the Miami and I saw that the water level and the, the people living level is almost close to. Then if the climate change, maybe the Miami is the most like uh, uh, influenced city by climate change because it's just a bit water level up. And I, I am sure that you are always have like a, a flood by rain, by level, sea level up, and then something like that. That is same situation with Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam. And we also have this kind of uh, the, uh, uh, city. Um, I give the lecture in Harvard with uh, people from uh, uh, Bangladesh. Then they have uh, 20 million people in in, in their city, in, in Dakar. Then we almost have the same situation, like more than 10 million in Ho Chi Minh City. Then the water level also very high. Then, of course, the density in Miami is still better than this. And we have like almost no greenery. Then, because of this, when it tropical rain, then a lot of water come then with the, a bit sea level rise, then we have big floods. Same here, <laughs> yes. Then, but we are really like living in living condition without any space for children, any. So the road, it look like this. Let image this, oh, these people is get on car then I don't know how many layout of road necessary for, for them. It's in Ho Chi Minh City, every day it looked like this situation. And I asked the, 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 the friend from Bangladesh, how about you in, with 20, 20 million people? And uh, uh, she said that if you want to go to the airport, sometimes take you three hours. Not very long distance because of the traffic jam. And then if these people start to use car like in, in, in US, then what happened? The I mean the the, the our, our our earth is no more like and we cannot survive. And because like this and uh, I remember that uh, the Vietnam is, uh, Vietnam is changing very fast. I even didn't have the bicycle, but 
that then it changing to to motorbike then it's really fast it's changing to a uh, 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 car then now in Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City we have this situation then the car and sometimes you walk is faster than you get on the car but unfortunately in Vietnam road don't have place for walk to everything is stuck then a lot of energy using here then in Ho Chi Minh City we only have 0.7 square meter per person of greenery or more low it in the world like Bangkok like Tokyo Jakarta Jakarta also really like polluted city so I think some of the, uh, people here from Asia the Asia is a really big population I heard uh, from friend that is how is the population of Bangladesh she said that 150,000 uh, 50 million 150 million in just kind of small country and in Vietnam we have more than 90 million in a narrow country 90 million and it become like 100 million then but in that case the problem and the, the, the thing we deal with the problem for the architecture and architect like us it's easy to understand how we can do with them then here the flash may be same with with, with with Miami but pollution and overheat I saw a lot of uh, uh, glass building in 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 Miami too I don't cannot imagine when it summer come and they use a lot of energy for 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 that isn't it I don't know but it may be like um, with the tropical way we can do something else that we can don't have to spend a lot of energy for for the building like that but the most I think the problem with Asian country is inactive people in Vietnam in Ho Chi Minh we have 75 percent of children are inactive then how I don't know then they it really easy to conflict everywhere so we are human being a lot of like a lot of thinking a lot of demanding and then our demanding is getting bigger and bigger then we feel really really like unhappy people are now talking that is we we develop then we happy but I don't think so I saw a lot of homeless in 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 in, in Boston around Harvard a lot I was there around like uh, five days then and then the student there also really look like really nervous they have to do more and more and more and more then what happened that is we need to talk about like the people human being a lot of demanding and they are talking together that is development make them more happy or something like that I don't believe that I don't believe that then this kind of problem is we are facing then when I see it a bit because the road narrow like this then a bit touching then it's really easy for them to fighting together so what is happened with all over the world and then you are uh, facing with the internet society or something like that then a lot of conflict a lot of misunderstanding and uh, the people like this a lot then it's easier for 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 fighting together then we can never stop the war then our aim is make the city from this to this because it's super super hot when the the summer time then the sun like come down and then with the steel roof and high density like this and humidity they're almost like and because we don't have greenery 
then the children are inside the, the concrete box with iPad, with iPhone, then they became inactive. So our goal is doing this by each project. And also we, uh, uh, we do urban master plan with also like greenery and also like uh, you said about the water recycle water or how to how to stock water on roof or recycling the water to using the farming system or and we i also like trying to work with the government to release the regulation that is they make the the the, the building with the greenery i mean tree for the roof, for the facade, and because how you can imagine with like 20 million people in one city, then almost they don't have enough food. That's why human beings trying to, to, to make a lot of food by like make like make thousand, thousand of like chicken in the small place and then they have a lot of stress and also they, they make how they try to make the food very fast, then they use a lot of chem chemical. A lot of chemical make them, like in Vietnam, is really trouble in terms of cancer and many, many sick, like uh, because of the, 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 I mean, the, because of the uh, vegetable or something like that, vegetable problem. Then we try to make like farming on their house. Then I try to introduce each project we are doing here. Like for example, this is a, we call half a tree. It also he was uh, he, he was my friend. Then suddenly become one day he super stressed and become became like uh, uh, inactive, like clothes in room. Don't want to talk with any body with long, 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 long time. No go out, like people serve food and then uh, inside room, don't talk to people. Then his family uh, asked me to design a house for, for him. Then instead of like, I'm sorry, instead of like box, a concrete box like this, we did, we introduced the greenery again to the house like they are living in a park and uh, and uh, each tr uh, the box like this like a tree pot then three big tree get on this it look like this very like close from the outside but in fact is really open to the each courtyard then it's connect together like this and the, the material is a concrete and brick and concrete like this. We try to re, like use a low cost uh, method for here. And uh, from two years ago, we designed a house, but we just do like a half a tree. That means our aim is one house like a mini park, small mini park in the city to increase the greenery for the city. Then uh, the house for tree, not a single house, but all of our house is like, like do. And like uh, DNA for the city. And then we also convinced the media to like support this idea. Then now, people make the house with a lot of greenery on top and everywhere. Then we, today I tr introduce you the house for tree and this one. And we now, we just finish this one and finish this one by Rambert and the tree on that too. And this also finished. And this uh, will be finished very soon. Then we like put the small park in the city. And here is a, like a, a stucking green is really narrow and long house and here is the stone house and here green we renovation from the old house we cover all by the tree we make the farm on top and then 
it worked very well in terms of such, uh, 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 when you open the window behind this, it's really nice uh, freezing and, and it like the cool down by the shadow and the water system around. And with this, we have the first uh, 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 project with big tree on, on top of the, the, the house. And this, the concept was really simple. I think Ho Chi Minh City before a lot of everywhere with greenery like this. So when you, we build the building, we destroy all of things. We build the, the, the building. Then what I did is like just keep this and put it up. Then we live under this. Then Ho Chi Minh City is around here. Here is uh, uh, China, here is uh, Japan, here uh, Philippines and Malaysia, Singapore. And here we like exactly same climate with here. And we are behind the beach like uh, this and then really low level of, uh, of, uh, of, um, of uh, soil and then influenced by climate change very, very fast. And the site is here with a super high density area with our greenery. Then you see around how like this, and suddenly they have they buy in the middle without road almost. Then it's really cheap with this land. Then uh, we threw this old house to this one. And the site like this, and we have the middle cost and it's very small, 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 small uh, uh, courtyards around this one. And library, meditation, kitchen, dining, and here is the bathroom. And you can see here from the bedroom to bathroom, you have to go outside, even one meter, or here is a bit longer, but it what I want to do is take him out, him out the room. Otherwise, he, if they have the toilet inside, he, ha he never go out. Never go out because it's inactive. Then we try is come here, but he go out by rain, by sunlight, uh, sun, sunlight and then uh, he start to get angry with how uncomfortable a house because he go to the toilet when it's super raining, tropical rain, and then he, 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 he get wet and get angry with that. And he became super plus, I mean, uh, really active than usual. And he became now normal, but really sensitive to be like, uh, uh. then the house is like that, not, I don't design the house like, super hard to living in like this, but this one is like, so the problem. And so a lot of day he messaged to me, hey, why is your house is too crowded? Why is it crowded? Because of a lot of bird coming. Around without any place for the bird, then it come here to, 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 to make their, their place here too. Then he also get angry with any uncomfortable thing with him, and then he, 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 he becomes super uh, plus, and now he's a bit normal. Then I think that problem will happen a lot in Vietnam, in Vietnam, in, in, in Ho Chi Minh and Hanoi, because almost no greenery, a lot of pollution, and then traffic jam or something like that. Then we do the house, it looked like a, a box like this, but in fact, we introduce a lot of like small window to ventilate. And then we make different like height, like a forest. And the rooftop, what we want to say here also, if every house, to make this to 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 stop the water when it's raining, the flood is a bit reduced, not a bit reduced, but 
and we also, sorry, we, uh, then here is we make the, the bamboo uh, formwork concrete by doing like this, is the bamboo like this, and we pouring the concrete inside this and take out, and then we have the, that kind of texture. And I, I saw a lot of this tree in Miami, the ficus. And then we do the waterproofing like this. And in Vietnam, it's $200 to plant one tree on top of this. And if you do 10, it just cost you $2,000. US Then it's really cheap with sunset device in Vietnam. Then we also realize this for keeping the water when it's raining. And small window like this is make really good ventilation to many way. And this house costs 156, uh, yeah, uh, 100,000 US dollars. And you can see here around like this, and suddenly you will have the, the, the small park like this in the city. And now it cover all, because the fire cost with rain is very fast to grow off. Then now we design here like outdoor living, then it's become together. And next one is the most typical type of house in Vietnam is this one, four meter, 20 meter. It's super narrow, it's 80 square meter land, and it look like this. And outside also same, not four, but three meter, uh, three point nine five meter to 20 meter. Then we do like a, a green facade. It look like this. And now the house behind, they have the house here. Inside with the stuck like this way. And everywhere, because we don't see the greenery in, in, the, in, the, in the city, then we, we, uh, we try to have the house with anywhere we can see the greenery. Then is we have one bedroom here, living, dining, kitchen here, and master bedroom here, and the study, study can be a, 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 back, a bedroom, small bedroom. Then here is a master bedroom. It really narrow and small house, but it looked like living in, in, in a big garden. And the ground floor uh, bedroom with the courtyard behind. Then here is a living room. Here is top roof, rooftop. And the ground floor view to the outside like this. And here is a dining, living, and we have the void through here, and then here, the greenery. Then here is the master bedroom, the study on top. And this is, we do the concrete like this, and we have the piling for the, the, the water, supply the water, and also take the water out through system. Then it's uh, living. Oh, sorry, living room. And yes, outside and inside look like this. And we have the, 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 the void here, like this. Here is the bathroom for the master bedroom. And people use the, the big stone for the, for the flooring or something like that. And the rest piece, they threw it out. We cut it because the manpower in Vietnam is still not very high. Then we cut it to put it here for the, the, the beautiful texture. And the, here is the behind the garden and here the kitchen and dining room and the car parking. And this, uh, I didn't hear about uh, the people put, 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 put when go, go on the, the street. 
But in Vietnam, it's super, super crowded, super noisy because of the, the sound of, of them. Then this system work really good to a bit reduce the noise from the street. And also, of course, here the wet side and then stop a bit sunlight. Then the ventilation here is uh, here the uh, the courtyards and the ventilation is really good and go up like this too. And this house also they they have air conditioning, but they don't have to use. So I think the same with Miami. If we do the house or apartment with the same kind of system like like this, especially we beside the beach, then almost we don't need air conditioning. I think so. So if we require a lot of air conditioning, then, then, then a lot of energy use. Then for, for me, the, the double skin that we learn is about glass, air and glass. But for tropical climate, it should be green, air and glass. Then you can control the, the, the outdoor and indoor by glass. You open there, then the, 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 the wind go, go out and go, go in easily. Then I think this is the best system for the tropical climates in terms of double skin. But in, in tropical, we need maybe mosquito control here too. I don't know if in Miami have mosquito or not, but in, in Ho Chi Minh, we, we have a lot. Then the, we need to use like wind simulation to be sure that everywhere in the house with wind. Then there's a video, but I think it doesn't. So after that, I did the survey um, at one company to do the survey of the, 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 the wind and be sure that everywhere in this house can have the, the, the wind. But you can understand easily because this go through like this and go up like this and yeah, it open here, go, go out. And very comfortable in a, in a house living that kind of space. Then here like this. And for the recently, we did the house not in Ho Chi Minh, the beach uh, 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 city like in Miami, in Nha Trang. Then this area, they require to have the slope of uh, a roof. Then we did the slope like this. And 60% of the roof has to be, has to be like tire not cannot be greenery so we apply this system we it the house look like a also make the garden on top of that then the client really enjoyed it in and uh, especially in in the evening they get on that and then okay, they can see mountain and the, the the beach around like that then the plan is like Leaving the dining and the kitchen here and two bedroom in at the ground floor here at the entrance then Here is all void Then here is one more bedroom one more bedroom what we did here is We introduced a lot of like uh, a, a small courtyards in between of the room to have like the 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 the, the climate uh, um, control inside, like even even don't have the wind. I don't know in in, in Miami, but in Vietnam, sometimes uh, uh, super high humidity and without wind, and super hot for it will really hot. Then we design a house with like like automatically the wind can 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 have because of different uh, uh, pressure. Then here is a courtyard, courtyard, and courtyard here too. And I like the living room and the courtyard and living room like this. And the, the back room with the courtyard and courtyard here.
and also they have the big view to outside, then it's really good in terms of ventilation. And the courtyard is like this. And the roof is like, as I said, every house of earth looks like a, a small park to the city. And like this. And we plant the tree like here, the big one, because we have the space up, uh, up the WC or something like that. Then we have like two cubic meter of the soil to plant big tree like this. And is it really like, I don't know, but it really make the human to closer to the, the nature. What, I, what I'm thinking is people is talk too much about form, about function, about, of course, it's necessary. But I think nowadays people now disconnect from the nature. Almost, almost they are coming to the, 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 the other, I think a lot of human beings in the world and we disconnect connect from the nature, then we are going to conflict or climate change or something, then we, we are all maybe finished. Then that's why we need to make the human being more connect, reconnect to the nature. Otherwise, I think a bit difficult. Uh, when I get on the uh, inside uh, the, the room to waiting for the airplane, people now just facing with like, 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 like iPhone, iPad, or iBook, right? And the problem is in US is still really good when people talking together, they don't take out the phone. But in Vietnam, they go to cafe together, but they chatting with the other one. Even they are dating. That make conflict. Everywhere with conflict like that. So I don't know how. how. So this how with a bit different with the other. But every how with this, we may a bit better. And this one is uh, we call farming kindergarten because we use all roof to do the farming for the for the kid. Here we did the competition for this, and and um, we submit the other design. Then we win the, with the, um, another design, then we show this to client, but, but what we want to do is this. The client said, why you didn't submit this before? I said that is, if I submit this, you feel it, you look it super expensive and hard to realize, then maybe you threw it out. Then, <laughs> and win by the other first. And then, like I show this, and. But they said that they have 1.9 million US dollars. So can you rely with that? I say yes. And then we try to do this. Because this is for 500 kit and like this. But we try to like make the safe playground for, 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 for the, the, the children. Because a lot of motorbike and Dangro Street not like here. When I go come to this campus, I think it look like a resort. We can relax here. <laughs> like, then uh, oh, here, this is in Ho Chi Minh, and the place we did is uh, like the 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 interdict zone here. Then they have. Uh, uh, they have 20,000 workers working in this. 20,000 is super, super high density. And they have the children and the, the kindergarten will be here. Then we designed this for the worker here coming to make the farming for their children food. Because the salary of the worker is just like uh, 2.5, uh, uh, 250 US dollar to 350 US dollar 
then they need to have the food for their children. And then they, 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 we divide it into make the team to make water. And the children also can go there to see how they make the agriculture. That is really good combination. It looks like this. And here is really safe with this uh, fish with this land. And we have three courtyards. And we maximize the playground to the roof for the children. And we connect it together. And we make the landscape of the, 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 the roof by different type of vegetable. Then the worker come to make on top like this. And we, yeah, we have the really safe playground, playground and we connect to, together three courtyards by PROT, like this. It's connecting, it's connecting like this. And we make big uh, corridor to make the shadow. And also, uh, we have uh, three, two to three years old here, uh, three to four years old here, four to five years old here, and gym and kitchen. And uh, four to five years old here. Then we have like some space like sloping is make the gym. And a lot of like porous, like this space, to invite the wind go everywhere in the, 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 because we don't have, we just have really rarely some uh, air conditioning for the office, classroom without air conditioning. Then, yes, is we use one classroom with the toilets like this, and we also have the connection to the outside with, with wind go in and design the window like this. And we make the cover by, by greenery. And of course, with the acid tree and reduce the, the water, or you, we use solar water heating or something like that. Then the most important is every classroom need to have the wind, otherwise without air conditioning, a bit hard to. We always use this to calculate, to make decision about the window. It's big, it's small, it's up and or down. Or even we can design by the shape of the building by catching up the wind or something like that. Then it look like this. And we make the, 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 we plant the green to grow up the louver. Then we protect the harsh sunlight from this. And do we recite the, the water from the factory to the, for the green roof, heat. And at night like this. I think something like this is also like fit with the, the, the Miami climate. And we did the university campus now under construction like this with only 2.2 hectare, which mean uh, 22,000 square meter, with 5,000 students. It's really, I think it even smaller than, 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 than here, the, 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 the um, architecture department here. But 5,000 students, almost like, so we try to make the, the greenery, make the water surface, make the activity to activate the student like this. And we make the void through inside, go up to the roof and go into the building, go up to the roof, like have more space for them. And we do the greenery on the, on the, the, the building to, to make it like more green space for the city and for the student too. Then we cut here entrance and we cut the garden inside the building like this, go up, go in through, go up over there, like this, go up here, inside, go up. And we have like activity changing the 
the up and down, up and down garden like this for the for the for the for the uh, 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 student. Otherwise, they don't have space to move. Just go into the classroom and go next classroom. Don't have the garden, anything else. Then, <laughs> like the space like this, go cut inside the building. Then make the like space for them to reading book or something like that. And here classroom, and the middle courtyard we make like a tropical forest, and uh, a bit like with the uh, water surface or reading space, like that. And one more is a uh, completion complete last year by this one, and here is 100% same. Uh, 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 concept with the half for tree, and again we introduce the 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 activity space for them because is the city is quite narrow everywhere we don't have the space with that. Then each window we have the big tree on that because here is the tree pot inside. Then the system is look like this, very simple, like we. We stuck three of this, put into the pot, stuck it up, then we have the facade like this. Because here is uh, the, the entrance of, the, entrance of the, 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 the university. This building will be like the office building for whole university, but they now they have to use this for classroom. Then it has to be the gate, up for the gate, and here, then we design this. And here with dormit tree, then we make like exercise course for them, like a park on, 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 on this. Then the place is here, a bit far from Hanoi. Then the building will be here. And they have the dormit tree here. Then what I want to do is make it up and down like a, a, a bit like dating spot for them. And here the building here is look like this. Then what we want to do is a bit different, but really simple system. I think this system can also can apply here to for apartment or even a university campus or something. And just four months because it's very fast. It's easy system. It looks very complicated, but it's really easy to have the column, 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 column here and then stack it on. Then now it's finished already. And this is also, they use the, the air conditioning, but not central thing, because they save the cost. And they use the air conditioning for each classroom. And if they don't have enough money, they just make the natural ventilation first. Because the glass have the, have the shadow by, by sorry, by 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 greenery outside, then the 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 the, the air go freely. Then it's easy. Like this, very simple. It's almost nothing. And then we make the office like this, but they can divide it into the classroom, like this. And the gate to the inside, and we make like a park on the, the rooftop, like this. And the structure system also simple. And when it finished, it looked like this. But now it, this tree has become very big because it's a ficus, the ficus one. And, and a big, this is exactly the ficus, same in Miami and now big. Whole, whole cover is really nice. It should look like this. And uh, uh, we uh, introduced to you some uh, bamboo project. Uh, here is the first one I did in, uh, in, uh, in, um, in Vietnam, the bamboo. is the first one we used with the steel column. And main thing is bamboo, but we make the water surface around and the ficus make a huge shadow for for and this system is like 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 natural 
natural uh, 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 air conditioning with the wind and the water cooling and the, the tree make big shadow and the roof is like this, catching the wind, and it really worked well. We never can use air conditioning, of course, and then the, the fee for the fan also really low, and the, the electric you, and I thing is, if we have some cafe like this in Miami, it will be nice. <laughs> it will be nice. Then it ficus is in the water, and then they become super big, like two, three person. And this one, the structure, the structure is still. Then when we do this, we start to Thinking about the pure bamboo structure, like no steel anymore. And then this is the first model of, of that. We called it the bar, but in fact that is the, 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 the mock-up of mine to think uh, to design a, 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 a bamboo structure. Then here the, the space and water around again, and this is really we make a bit high water level, then go into the, 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 the bar. And then the space inside is like this. We use like the frame, uh, the unit, same. And we make one circle, then we have the, the bar. And the rest of the bamboo piece we can use for the, the, the chair and also the lighting uh, uh, like this. And because like a mock-up, then it's really low, low cost. Then it's like this, around by water. And the next one, this is uh, almost first order by the client but to you, the bamboo structure. Then I want to realize that thing is like cantilever one. Make Big structure with the 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 plan is look like a water winning water cafe, but the the pure bamboo structure and also it between the the water like this. Then the ficus make the shadow again, and then the wind go through like this. It's really comfortable. In it's around by water because next to the legs and we pump up the. The water come and then like cycle like this. And the structure is like big wing, like 12 meter. I, when I was in, in, in Tokyo, I spent almost of my time to, to study a lot about the, 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 um, the structure. And then suddenly at the end, uh, my professor asked me to write the thesis about the uh, ventilation, the, the air flu. And the safe, how the safe influence to the air flu. Then we design. I know about the structure, and um, and 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 at the end, the the the, the professor asked me, no 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 more structure. Uh, please do with the air ventilation because it's useful for for climate in Vietnam. But that was exactly the thing uh, I I was teaching teach, and then. When I do the doctor course, I move to the master, uh, the, the, the urban design. Then I win the award of, uh, of uh, um, University of Tokyo, the first prize of the uh, doctor thesis. But my professor said that, no, no, thank you. No more uh, 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 doctor. You go home to make the, your own office. No more. <laughs> <laughs> and I said that, hey, hey, but my thesis can be graduate everywhere in the world. But I, yes, please, you can go. But me, no sign. You cannot graduate doctor here. Let's go to Vietnam to make the office. And then that I start my office 2006 without finish the, the, the doctor. Even the, the doctor thesis is good. <laughs> then uh, that's why I do the structure, do the ventilation, and even we have like a lot of master plan project to do to with play with wind and something like this. And then the the 
the structure here is super complicated. This one have the wing like this, and the joint. Of course, we need the tension uh, wire on top of this, and we make like a head for the bamboo coming here, then a head, and then the the, the, the tension from there, and we make the tension to put it up the the structure, uh, the, the the roof, and of course is moving, and then we have some tension to keep it down, and also we have this system to keep it not shake this way, because this area a lot of typhoon, the, the storm, then we have this. And the most recently project we, we did is in Sơn La, is really fast away from Hanoi. It takes seven hours by mountain road. Then we cannot use the kind of bamboo that we, we used before. That's why we almost used like straight one at the side. One piece, one dollar. One piece, one dollar. Then we use almost here is 3,000. 3,000 dollar for material fee only. Then this, um, this stone also, they, they dig the mine for the, uh, to take the stone for the roofing. And then they threw it out, this one. They give it for free. It's a bit soft, and then we cut, 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 cut to stuck it like this. And this system of structure is really nice because uh, the bamboo is the only vertical one. And the horizontal force is supported by the, the, the stone wall. And the storm take it off, and then we have the wire in the middle of this. And what we try to do here is reduce amount of detail, because a lot of detail make a trouble, because it's far away from our office. Then this kind of detail, we threw uh, the steel like this inside the bamboo, to like this, and we pouring the concrete inside this to make the, the joint. And of course, we have like the place to support the bamboo. In. And then this joint is same with this joint to the, the one. And only one joint is a bamboo is this one. And we copy for everywhere. Then this volume, it can be two floor. Two floor is support the, the, the horizontal force. And some is, sometimes it's lower than then the roof, and then become the really interesting uh, in the, uh, we have the space here to see like this. Then it looked like a bamboo forest. And the detail of this is like this. And if you use the bamboo, be careful because the water go from outside. Here is sloping, but we still cut at the, at the place that water cannot go in, but this also cannot go. Then we make only one like joint for, for, for easy to control the, the, the construction site. And for the stone, a bit difficult. Then we add them to do the corner again and again, 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 many sample. Then at the end, they, we say yes with one and they they become super experts in terms of the making the, the stone. Then we still like you this worker for the other construction site too. Then to doing the architecture in, 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 in some place like in Vietnam with really low level of construction uh, site that is really hard to like you design, you need to think about the detail that they can realize, you can fit them at the site to realize what you want to do. Then maybe the, these are the recently one. They is like in a community center in the next to the center of Ho Chi Minh City. It by the Lotus Lake around. Then its structure, it's really simple. I just copy from the, 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 the chicken, Chicken, 
the in 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 everywhere in the they they keep the chicken in the bamboo like I just copy that exactly don't do design anything just copy in the, in the scale of <laughs> then they it <coughs> it really is not joking is I copy that I saw the, the 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 this is really beautiful because at the beginning you make one circle two circle three circle four circle by steel it's easy and you support that then you make this of one two three it's easily and you make some circle like that and this one you can see here it go, come here go to the middle of two column and neck is at here and neck is in the middle neck is at here very simple that is worker can can do easily they used to do super fast with this because you can see here is go in the middle of two column and at the column and in the middle column and uh, at the column and in the middle continue like that to the end you just do that again and again and again and again then you have the the system a structure like this and what i did is i did one more layout of the structure outside to make the 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 the, the roof outside to make the protect the, the bamboo that is what I did for this. The other is 100% copy from the, that one. Then the structure is really interesting. And this is a Milano Expo. We combined with the concept of the bamboo and how to make the greenery. And I myself don't like the concept of Expo because they spend huge money and they destroy huge nature for the sick man. And after that, everything gone. I think human being, they find a way, a lot of way to earn money for any reason, but destroy the nature for any reason to make that thing and throw it out or not good at all. And then we have only two million for for, for design and build Vietnamese pavilion in the most expensive area in the world, in Milan. Then at that time is much more expensive because construction size is busy for every. Then we realize here is not pure, only this is not pure bamboo structure, is of course steel column. And then we try to, 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 to make a forest on top of this. And the interior is uh, simple, by right? the steel column, bamboo decoration, not, 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 not bamboo structure anymore. But it's interesting. Then the, I think the one from uh, Germany, they try to buy it, to ship it to Germany, to you, they use this. And what we want to do is, uh, again, from this to this, by architecture, by master plan, by, uh, uh, by working with, I think the most important now I'm doing almost done, that is convince the government to make the regulation that is people build the house, have to make the green roof, make the farm system on the roof, even the facade, and even the building, new building in Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City, even renovation to the old and new without greenery, without permission. Then that make like the city more greenery. And thank you very much. I'm taking some questions from the students. Yes, please. Do you have any question? Wrong. You have you ch like think about change the color to green or some kind of things? Or you or you like the color of brown? Are you use this kind of color in all your buildings? 
uh, bamboo changing the color is not very difficult. Uh, you can use any color you want. But uh, for me, is uh, I shocking the bamboo inside the river two, three months. And after that, I smoke the bamboo. Then it become black, but a, lit, a, bit, a, a little bit clean. Then we have like that kind of color. We don't do any treatment. Um, that is a nature color. We don't do any treatment for the bamboo color. Because I'm, I personally like that kind of <laughs> color of the bamboo too. That's why I don't need to change. But it can be like a bit yellow, like a China bamboo. It's easy, yeah. Thank you. Any question now? Yes, please. You mean bamboo project or what kind of? I think bamboo project is really, you can see when the, 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 the storm come, almost destroy is the, the, the big tree, the bamboo, they shake. They are really good at, at storm and, and, and earthquake. They are not good at fire, but <laughs> the storm and earthquake is really good, especially if you do the structure like, like this is still, we don't talk about this anymore. <laughs> this one is really strong in terms of the, the storm, because we do the net like this. Of course, they give the pressure at some place, and then, yeah, we, we need to do thick, many bamboo. It's strong. No, this area is really, really soft, like Amazon. And then the phycos is super fast to grow up. Yes? Any question? Yes, please. Should be applied as a foundation for the architectural practice? I can Again? can e easier English, please. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, given the state of our world's climate, do you think that these ecological ideas should be a foundation in architectural practice? I think um, the yes is also a good way, but um, what we apply here is a bit uh, deep root, root about we apply about meditation in our, our practice is make people more calm. And when they come, they suddenly they connect very well with the nature. Then they feel hard, they feel painful when happen around them. Then they try with that very good. Then that is the most important is not, this also one method, but the deep inside that we do the two hour a day meditation in our office. And if they, you realize that in, in, in the university, then you super fast to learn <laughs> architecture, really. <laughs> because it come, it come down, come down. And I told to them is I have around 60 projects, but no trouble. You know, the, the, the project like this also, it seem like simple, but it hard to, to, to realize you need to talk with worker, you need to convince them to make with them and then do like that, right? But what I mean is, uh, yes, it's, uh, we do the meditation and that kind of method like ecological or some system like that, automatically, we will know how to do that and what kind of method. Of course, many things to do the green architecture, like by 
air, by ventilation, by material, by, by, by total thing. But what I explain you today is a really simple thing that is you, we can share easily. But I tell you one more secret that, that we are doing is uh, meditation. Thank you very much. Yes. Yes, please. The question is more probably about being naive about how the projects are built. In Vietnam, you talk about discussing the projects with the workers, and some of these seem to be based on sort of vernacular forms or vernacular methods of basket weaving or weaving. So how is a project built in terms of the, the hierarchy? Is there a general contractor? Or are you discussing, are you working as the general contractor and working directly with the craftsman, with the artisan? Let me, do you want me to rephrase that? Um, I, this kind of project, mm -hmm. and also this, like this one, mm -hmm. we build by ourselves. I have the construction team, very big. Ah, that's yes. it. And then I also let them to do the meditation. I was going to say, no wonder you meditate. <laughs> <laughs> Two hours a day, no exception. <laughs> then. That's great. Oh yeah, I, I meditate, but I don't do two hours, so I'm trying to figure out how you do. No, two no, hours. we 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 do uh, for the worker. Don't have to do yoga. Okay. But in the yeah. our office, uh, three times a week with yoga. Yeah. And um, uh, but we still keep two hour a day for for That's for wonderful. meditation. It shows. <laughs> no, it does. It shows. And I was the, my other question, which is, is there an equivalent in Vietnam to someone like John Ruskin? who writes about the connection between nature and man and how it can be seen in architecture? Is there an equivalent theoretician in Vietnam or is that you? Uh, thank you. <laughs> but <laughs> that, yes, we, we are thinking is man, nature, and maybe he is a meditation, make them connect Connected. together. Otherwise, we are going to develop fast and this connection. And when I go to teach at GSD, they are super, super nervous. Like they need meditation. <laughs> <laughs> they need meditation, yeah, I tell them. <laughs> Maybe your next lecture could just be two hours of meditation. Yeah, I GFD. also tell them that is like super. <laughs> but we, we, we do with the worker like that. Then we train them, every project. And then now they automatically do that. And um, unfortunately, I don't. I cannot show you the the the, the gallery ma in Tokyo. We just have three weeks to drill like such big pavilion with three on top of that by bamboo structure. Super nice, and you can look up somewhere. But and then after this, tomorrow I fly to the Brisbane to open the pavilion inside a, a, a museum in in uh, Queensland. Then also only two worker and one uh, architect staff in two weeks. They do huge pavilion, but they are super focused in terms of, 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 uh, of, uh, of um, uh, they meditate too. After, <laughs> after <laughs> they, at night they're meditating and then they do focus with. And then it will be public very soon after open in uh, 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 first of March, yes. So you start to meditate too <laughs> with yoga. <laughs> yes, any question now? Um, it it need a huge root. So um, how's that possible to? Uh, you know the 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 soil on the roof is cannot be very thick, um, so how's that possible to plant big trees on the on the roof of the building? Ah, uh, you mean the tree on top of the the building? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it like one meter, uh, two hundred like that, and the ficus, the ficus is very good. The ficus can be the bonsai can be small if the soil is small, and it can be big if the soil is big. You can see many where in, in Vietnam they do the ficus for the bonsai. It can be like, like this. 
and then it depends on how you fit them. And the fibers can also be go out of the pot and the root can be go down like this too. If you, you, you do, and then it can be, and then you can cut, even cut this, this is still alive. Uh, will it be not uh, very stable if the, if the soil is too, is too thin, not very thick? Sustainable in terms of wind? Yeah, yeah. yeah, at the beginning we still have the small wire to keep it stand, but later it's fine. The, it, the root go out to, okay. to support them. Maybe I'll conclude with a question, but maybe it's more like a comment. You know, in earlier when I was referring to you as uh, exemplary in terms of the reinvention of the vernacular, of course, I was thinking of the, one of the bamboo projects. Uh, but I, what I was struck earlier, when you, especially when you showed the school, I, I thought that maybe the vernacular in Ho Chi Minh City is really the the, con the trabeated concrete, the, the, the concrete frame, the simple, those, the, the concrete structures are really the vernacular there. And there's something very beautiful about the, the kind of the almost brute simplicity and something, there's something uh, so crude and brute about that school. Yeah. Uh, uh, so I'm, I'm trying, I'm starting to think that maybe to, the, the, the bamboo is not the vernacular really, because actually you, s you use it mostly for, uh, for uh, uh, hospitality, uh, luxury yeah. projects, restaurants, hotels, and things like this. Yeah. And you have to build it yourself because nobody is, ha you don't have the, the skilled workers to actually execute those projects. Whereas the, those concrete frame, simple concrete frame buildings are really perhaps the, what we should think of as the vernacular in that context. Is that uh, correct or would you agree with this? Or? I think so. I of course, the, the, my, my, my bamboo structure is a bit complicated for the people to build that. But in fact, like the, what I said about, I copy the, the, the chicken. The, the basket. Yes, yes, yes. 100% copy from that. Just make the one more roof outside that. But you question me about how we can build the bamboo without my team. But at the beginning, also the, 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 the bar, I work with like a, a 15 worker in 40 days and build up that kind of system. And from the next, they do by themselves. And of course, we need to train them. But, um, but we also can realize that. But what? What do you mean? Uh, I was just commenting about like if you go to this back to the school, School. The, the, yes. the primary school. No, this was a primary. The farming kindergarten? Oh, the kindergarten, yes. Yeah, uh, at the moment. I'm sorry for very fast. <laughs> this one. Yes, I mean, in a way, when I, when I say, oh, reinventing the vernacular in, the, in emergent economies, I think that that's a great example. Thank you very of, much. Of how that local architecture, was, which is the architecture of the domino frame, which we see proliferated in Ho Chi Minh City, that's really the, the local vernacular. And that's the, 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 the way it is transformed by your invention so much that actually it's not, it doesn't matter how uh, the detail and the, the, the kind of artfulness of the, the, the detail and the construction don't matter. The whole project has such a creative energy that, it, that, 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 that drives it and makes it transcend the, the, the shortcomings of the, 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 the detail and the construction. Yeah, so we yeah. also like try to convene the architect there to make right. the same way to redo the, uh, the, 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 the architecture, not copy from US, not copy from Europe. Right. We make the architecture fit with the tropical climate in Vietnam and fit with Vietnamese uh, uh, technique. 
I think that's important for us. Right. Not like copy the big glass building in the, uh, uh, New York to, to Vietnam or something right. like that. Right, I imagine that you know, the, there, there was no uh, any specialized skill that was needed for building this project. Uh, I think it's so. It's all local materials yeah. and local knowledge, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank very you very much. much. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.